The United States Air Force is calling for more squad squadrons to prepare for possible war against China and Russia. RT correspondent Dan Cohen has the story. On Monday, Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson called for a total of 386 squadrons by the year 2030, up from the 312 operating today. The proposal was prepared to meet the demands of the national defense strategy the Pentagon unveiled in January. Wilson spoke about the proposal at the Air Force's Air, Space and Cyber Conference in Washington, D.C. on Monday. We must see the world as it is. That is why the national defense strategy explicitly recognizes that we have returned to an era of great power competition. We must prepare. The 24 percent increase would prepare the Air Force for a possible conflict with major powers China and Russia, both of which have recently conducted large-scale military exercises. 300,000 Russian troops took part in its biggest ever war games. China also sent 3,200 troops, indicating a burgeoning military alliance between the two countries. If the United States government approves the Air Force's demands, we would see intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance squadrons increase from 40 to 62 between 25 and 2030. Tanker squadrons, which allow warplanes to refuel in midair, would go from 40 to 54. And fighter squadrons would go from 55 to 62. Additionally, space squadrons would grow from 16 to 23. The taxpayer bill for such a hike would be a whopping $49.9 billion and an additional $13 billion per year in operating costs. But a 2017 RAND Corporation report says that, quote, U.S. forces could, under plausible assumptions, lose the next war they're called upon to fight, despite the United States outspending China military forces by a ratio of 2.7 to 1 and Russia by 6 to 1. So an increase in military spending doesn't necessarily translate to the battlefield dominance the U.S. envisions. Reporting in Washington, Dan Cohen, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.